Welcome to the NURBS Design Tutorial Series. Here let's point out a wrapped UV stripe color shader which we will be using through the course of this introductory tutorial. This will serve as a warm-up so selecting a NURBS plane will size at approximately 4 meters by 1 meter in the workspace. Using the object info panel we will first rotate 90 degrees around the X axis and using our control cage we will move this up slightly above the ground plane. TrueSpace has a very robust and easy to use set of NURBS editing tools. A right click will bring up the contact sensitive toolbar and in this case selecting the refined patch allows us to add an ISO curve roughly in the center of this NURBS plane object. Now selecting a control point you have the ability to move, rotate or scale. Right click on any selected control point brings up the CV handles. Manipulating the CV handles will, of course, affect how the surface of the NURBS object is affected by each control point. So here are a few simple movements of the various control points on this NURBS plane primitive, along with a right-click access and manipulation of the CV handles. using a few different views we will begin creating this boat hull. Now this introductory exercise serves as a warm-up if you will with a brief introduction to some of the tools in TrueSpace that we use to create NURB surfaces. Again you'll notice how the texture we are using gives us an indication as to the movements we are making on control points and the adjustments with the CV handles, we get a very good indication of how we are actually affecting the surface of the NURBS object. So with this half complete, a simple copy, rotation, and location of this second half of the hull. We'll just locate this ever so slightly away, create a little bit of a gap for our keel. And using the blend surface tool, we can now complete the exterior of the hull by blending the surface between, in this case, three sets of edges. So again selecting the blend surface tool select first edge, second edge, surface is created. So here are three main edges, sets of edges that we have to uh, blend a surface between with the final one here at the stern. And notice the surface is twisted using the invert edge tool on the blend options panel we can quickly dispose of that twisted surface. So here we have a completed exterior hull by simply copying this hull and rescaling it we can create the interior hull. So using our control cage around the object we can quickly resize the interior hull to a point approximately so and then of course using the blend surface tool we will finish off this particular little boat hull. So again three major sets of edges that we can use the blend surface 
to create a surface between. In this particular case we have one additional small surface that has to be blended right up at the very bow of the boat here. And with that final blend our boat hull is complete. So again, this serves as a warm-up exercise for the NURBS design tutorial. A few renders to show our finished object. So have a little fun with this and we will move on to the main course in the NURBS design tutorial series.